Hello guys! So, last episode I got a couple comments about this. And this is something I was using, it's a, well I am using, it's a whispers command that whispers the player name, has captured a capture point uh, for the map here, Rampart we're working on, we, um, and people are like, oh you can just use Telraw instead of having to do the whispers to you. And no, no you can't. Well you can, I mean you can do... Like, this is, I, I just grabbed a few random commands from the map here, but, uh, yeah, I'm using Telraw on everywhere I can use Telraw, but, yeah, you can't use it for something where you want to tell what the player name is. Like, if I, even if I remove the radius here, you can, it'll show two people, because GP Midi's standing up there, so it grabbed him too, but... If two people, are, two people are on the point, it'll say both names, it's catch the point, it'll even do it if, uh, like it'll show, I set up something to show the team names here, I'm in green team now, it'll show the two names there, I can jump TP MIDI down here and show both names. So really the only way, you can't do that within a tell raw command. Like if I add, as far as I know, unless they've added some trick, but uh, if I add at A, it, just says add A, it doesn't say the player name like it does in a in a whispers command here. So So that's why I'm using whispers. But there's some other tricks here you can actually do, which are really rather cool. Um there is this. Now this is an execute say command. <clears throat> so if you have a command block execute to a player, and the player is doing the say command, like normally if I do a say command like that, I could actually just copy that. And if I just do a, a say command here, it'll say my name, dash, you know, whatever. It'll say, I should have just done this, say hi. So it says my name in brackets and hi. And you can actually kind of use this as a indicator. So I'm having this whisper, oops, having this one whisper players names. Um, but if I just wanted, I could also just do this. Um, but the only problem with this one is it's having two players say. So I, it, it'd spam the chat twice with two different things. So this is, this says translator and GP Biddy. And um, if there's only one of us in the area, let's just change this to r equals 3. If only one of us in the area, it shows that. And it actually fills out the syntax and everything, so it adds an and and commas in between each name or whatever. But in execute say, we'll do this. So I'm actually have been using it in a lot of places around here where if I want to indicate a single person, if I know it, only a single person it, it, this is going to be executed on, like these are the commands, the original commands I pulled them from. I'm having the team captain system, team captain one, show save team captain. So you could save team captains on the team captain system if you want to restart this team captain system. Um, so yeah, there's the tell raw command, and the this is kind of what I was using. I just cleaned it up so it says at a yeah. And then there's a fourth option. I, there might be more, actually, but there's a fourth option that I've discovered so far. And this is an execute, execute, say. Um. Well, wait. It just said it for both. Huh. Wait, why did it say it twice? Oh, right. Wait, no, wait. I didn't actually know it was doing that. That was, I didn't, I didn't, why didn't I test this before I did this? Why is it doing twice? Okay, execute. Oh, it's at A, at A. So it's like a double, okay, so it's a double, double time. Huh, that's, act, oh, that's funny. Well, basically what this is actually doing is, I'm ex actually, the first execute is a test for command. So, execute team captain 2 so if there's a, either a team captain 2 or a team captain 1 so this is team captain 2 right here team captain 2 temp team captain 
Team Captain 1 temp. I can run both of these at the same time, and whichever one is valid, it'll actually execute. The second execute is for the execute say command. So it'll say the Team Captain 1's name and make your choice. So if, if Team Captain 2 was currently the Team Captain, it changes it to... It makes, you know, the next Team Captain up. Say it. I need a better visualization of this. Let me let me set this up. Okay, so here we have just uh, a test number that I could either set to one or two. Um, that one sets to one, and if it's one, I say something. It's me. I'm number one. If it's two, GP Mitty says something. It's me. I'm number two, and it'll always be that way. So it's testing for either one or two, and then it's having the player execute it. Now, in order to test for that number, I'm using scoreboard player's obturation on a random player. And it doesn't really matter which player set this display. It might see it pop up here for a second. No, it doesn't. I'm just going to trigger this. Bink. So the first thing it does is it sets a random, it sets the operation. It does it to a random player. So that's random player test, blah, 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 a bunch of test stuff. So since it was set to 2, since test player is set to 2 over there, it makes it the same number that he is at. Um, and then if it's 2, this block says it, score test 2. And then it does the other stuff. Um, so if it was 1, score, no, i got to reset it first. Oops, oops, huh. This last one resets it, but if it was one, he gets set to one, and it's me, I'm one, so uh, this one triggers if it's one, and then the fourth one resets it, scoreboard players reset, reset all players that are pretty much GP MIDI, um, and since test player is not a, an actual player anywhere in the world, it doesn't actually reset that number. The only way to reset that number is if you actually put the name test player here or uh, reset every number on that scoreboard or something. So, yeah, I think this is a pretty cool way to... So the only thing wrong, weird about this is it doesn't show the player's team or the player's color here. Like right now, GP Mini is green. Like over here, it'll say... Why didn't that work? Is it still radius 3? Let's get rid of that. So we're both on green team. Uh, so yeah, when it's in brackets like that, it only shows the white. I can even leave my team here. Um, oh god. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's it. That's why. If you know any other tricks with this, let me know in the comments, because uh, I'd love to know more. Um, I might think of something else I have out here. Oh yeah, and to set up a tell raw command, Right here, these little complicated things. What you do is we go to this website. Yay! Nice easy way of doing it here. Nice and cheaty. You can you just have to add text. Do whatever, put whatever, hey oh blah. Um green sure italic. Strike through, bold. I don't know. Let's just do a couple. Um, click event, doesn't matter. Uh, well, this is good for like trigger commands. You can do stuff with that. You can even, it'll even give you a bunch of optional or um, preset stuff you can work with. Um, hover text, or hover event, we could show, we could show, show stuff here, stuff. <laughs> stuff, and that's it. Just copy this out of this box here, and go back to the game, and throw down a command block. Put it in. That's it. Hey, oh, blah. Stuff. That's the hover event. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice, nice, easy way to do it. And that's about it. Yeah, again, let me know if you if there's any other tricks to this that you know of. But yeah, execute. <laughs> I never thought. You know, I saw that it's possible to do an execute, execute. But I'm like, yeah, there's nothing. I don't know if there's anything that could actually end up being used for that. And uh. Yeah, I ran into, well, first I ran into this, 
And I'm like, oh, cool. But then I needed to do a test for first, and then I'm like, oh, there's no way to do this. Oh, wait! Execute, execute. That's awesome. Okay. That's it. If I think of anything else, I'll be back. But uh, thanks for watching. Small episode. I'll do a, might do some more smaller episodes. This last one was like 45 minutes. I am rambling again. Okay, bye!